If you're into games with story progression and multiple endings, love Stardew Valley-esque games, or just groove to chill lo-fi beats, then you're in for a treat. My name's Sasha, your gaming buddy who's been farming, simming, and cozying up in games for more than two decades. And I'm excited to dive into the latest updates with you. From big hits to hidden gems, we're covering all things life sim, cozy, and farming games in this January roundup. So grab your snacks and let's jump into the first update. We got Lens Island. Earlier this January, Lens Island released its roadmap for 2024. Just a quick background, in this game you can craft, farm, and build your dream home on a mysterious archipelago where you can explore a vast world full of secrets. From hidden treasures to dungeons with exciting challenges. So there's also fast-paced combat, conquering bosses, and experimenting with various weapons and skills. The game caters to different playstyles, welcoming dungeon crawler enthusiasts, builders, explorers, farmers, and those who simply enjoy the simple life of chopping trees at sunset. The developers announced a huge new content update called Frozen Lands coming this late March to early April. But wait, there's more. They confirmed that the Target 1.0 launch, the full release, will come this year, 2024. This includes the co-op multiplayer and the final content update. Lens Island is available in early access on Steam. Up next is Moonstone Island. The game had multiple updates this January, from improved camera movement to optimizing music and our favorite, the renaming of spirits. If you don't know, Moonstone Island is a creature-collecting life sim where you explore 100 unique islands in an open world. Your goal? Master Alchemy. Move to a sky island, make friends, brew potions, and collect over 70 wild spirits. You can take on the recently added Infinity Dungeon for endless battles and rewards. Their updates include the rename of spirits along with the use of arrow keys for this feature, poop will now fly towards you, a bigger map, optimization of some spirit and talisman features, camera movement has been improved, and various aesthetic and bug fixes. Get ready for a laid-back journey filled with magic and discovery in Moonstone Island, now available on Steam, and will be coming on Switch this spring 2024. Then there's Skin Seed. The game's big build update goes experimental. The developers spent the last year reviewing feedback from players and implementing it within the game. For a quick context, Kinseed is a chill life sim RPG crafted by Fable veterans. You inherit the Kinseed, a magical acorn that shapes your family tree. Live a quirky life for everyone ages, even your pets. Farm, run shops, and explore as generations pass. When you kick the bucket, step into your kid's shoes and keep the legacy rolling. So in this experiment build, you can finally customize your farm, hear a new soundtrack, a new family and friend gameplay, new combat challenges, new progress screen, revised skill tree system, more variety in NPC chats, and new cutscenes for the players and NPC stories. Kinseed isn't always sunshine and roses, mirroring real life. Live your way in this charming 2D open world where your choices shape a unique family saga. Kinseed is available on Steam. You can check out their page there for steps on how to get the experimental build installed. And next is Songs of Glimmerwick. This game is from the developers of Eastshade, and they have just released their first devlog introducing the game. Songs of Glimmerwick is an open-world Witch Academy RPG. In this woodland fantasy, music is your spellbook. You can play ancient tunes to breeze through gardening and explore the island. Armed with your trusty flute, you can attend classes, join clubs, make friends, and uncover the town's mysteries. What makes this game different, aside from the unique way of spellcasting, is that the game focuses more on the quests and a little less on farming. Features include unfolding narrative quests with unique characters, tending the magical university garden, and turning every song into a spell. Fully voiced dialogue brings characters to life, and as you gain experience, choose skills to enhance your gardening or trading abilities. Customize your appearance and enjoy extracurricular activities like island exploration, moth racing, seashell diving, or forest expeditions. 
The lively world of Glimmerwick offers classes, rumors, drama, and festivals. You can now wishlist the songs of Glimmerwick on Steam. Now let's go to My Time at Sandrock. Switch players, it's finally here. The recent 1.1.4 update on Switch contains all content in the PC full release and all PC hotfixes up to December 10th. Alongside this update is the optimization of the main scene resource loading and stabilizing of frame rate throughout the game for a smoother gaming experience. And it looks amazing so far. The game just also recently had major updates for PC. A lot of bug fixes from quests, visual and audio, gameplay, and UI. And my favorite would have to be the new content, Fixed Vertical Ladders. Finally, more room for decorating your home. As for multiplayer, DLC features are now seamlessly integrated, and new quests, face and hairstyle options, items, and minigames are now available for you to dive in with friends. If you don't know, you play as Sandrock's newest builder where it's your job to revitalize the city-state. Build a bustling workshop, create diverse items, and engage in dynamic action battles against monsters. Explore the vast deserts, uncover relics, and connect with over 30 unique characters through a detailed story and numerous side quests. Whether you're a seasoned builder or new to the game, my Time at Sandrock offers a delightful life sim RPG experience in a charming post-apocalyptic world and is available on all major consoles and on Steam. The developers have shared that a much more improved version for stabilizing the frame rate is in the works for Switch and will be included in the upcoming 1.2 version. If you're curious about the release date, just hit that subscribe button. You'll get a heads up as soon as we know when it's happening. Next up is Grimshire. From the developers of Bones Cafe, Acute Owl Studio announced their upcoming game, Grimshire. In this game, you play as a rabbit who barely escaped the chaos that consumed your town and found refuge in Grimshire, a mountain village. You can cultivate crops, plant orchards, and tame critters for eggs, milk, and meat. Forage for seeds, flowers, and fish in nearby areas. Be part of the community, contribute to village projects, research, and befriend villagers, but beware of impending plague. In this game, you'll do the usual stuff like farming, taking care of animals, making friends, mining, and fishing. But here's the twist. Villagers can actually die. And there are different endings to the story. The complete game is set to launch in early 2025 on Steam with added features like getting married, having kids, and having pets. Cute, right? Then we have Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions. The game is a focus tool with a chill lo-fi soundtrack. You can customize your virtual space, listen to soothing beats, and use productivity tools like a to-do list and a Pomodoro timer. I've personally tried this game's demo and loved every part of it. You can personalize your character and room, collect adorable spirit companions, and enjoy interactive soundscapes. Earn XP for productivity and unlock new cosmetics. Enhance concentration and create a cozy, distraction-free environment for work and hobbies. Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is a distraction-free gamified productivity tool and will launch on April 8, 2024. If you're still on the fence, do check out its demo on Steam. You might be in for a treat. Moving on, we have Paralives. Paralives is a cool upcoming game for PC where you can build your dream house, create characters, and control their lives. It has awesome tools for building, letting you be super creative with curved walls, custom stairs, and more. You can make unique characters with a height slider, changeable features, and complex personalities. Explore an open world with lots to do in any season. The game is community supported and you can use the Steam Workshop for cool mods, houses, and characters. In their recent public showcase, they displayed a new clothing collection inspired by the 70s and some outfits designed for the elders. They showed a few side-by-side -side views of the same parafolk in two different life stages and they look amazing. The game is currently in development and will be released on Steam for PC and Mac. Next up is Palea. The Magic Market is in full swing celebrating Luna New Year at Pilima Village Fairgrounds, and it's here until February 27th. 
There's a ton of cool stuff happening. Try out a whooping 18 new dishes and guess what? There's a chance to get special star quality versions that you can display in your home. 25 Luna New Year themed decor pieces, some from stalls and others from completing a stamp card. New crops and forageables, bok choy and napa cabbage seeds are up for grabs at the Maji Market. And keep an eye out for green onion and ginger in Kilima Village. There are also 9 new recipes that you can cook, including treats like lucky braised fish and stuffed cabbage rolls. Romance alert, Subira is up for romance, but it's our little secret. Chapa Chase makes a comeback. Collect those lucky envelopes by chasing chapas every night at the market. Various bug fixes, including star stones now dropping as decor. And finally, premium store updates. Don't forget to check out the new outfit bundles, a super cool dragon dancer glider, and more. So head to the Magic Market at Kilima Fairgrounds and soak in all those Luna New Year experiences. Then we have Stardew Valley. In the recent Stardew Valley update, Concerned Ape stated that the 1.6 version updates were getting larger in scope than expected. But it is now in the bug testing phase for a 2024 release on PC and hopefully a smaller gap between releases on other consoles. If you've been living under a rock, this game lets you grow crops, raise animals, and build the farm of your dreams. You can even invite friends to join your farming adventure. Improve your skills in various areas like farming, mining, and fishing. Befriend over 30 unique characters in the town, attend festivals, and explore mysterious caves. Restore the community center, court and marry a partner, and enjoy relaxing activities like fishing. With over 100 recipes and countless customization options, Stardew Valley offers endless opportunities to create a cozy and lively farm life. It is available for all major consoles, PCs, and mobile devices, with the 1.6 update planned to be released this 2024. Next up, Sunkissed City. From one of the developers who worked on post-release content for Stardew Valley comes an urban life sim, Sunkissed City. In this game, you arrive at Apollo City, a vibrant seaside metropolis where you, as part of Pico Corporation's Peckle Pioneer program, embark on a mission to connect with the community and promote eco-focused initiatives. However, the city faces challenges like aggressive wildlife and mysterious maladies. Enjoy city life with activities like gardening, fishing, and exploring. And reinvent yourself with deep customization options for clothing and living spaces. Build relationships with quirky locals, gift handcrafted presents, and navigate the city's colorful personalities. Collaborate with forest creatures, the Kebi, to tackle city issues and join friends in online or split-screen multiplayer modes. It's time to make Apollo City thrive again. Sunkissed City is set to release on Steam in Q4 of 2024. And that's a wrap for today's gaming update. If you enjoyed the scoop on these awesome life sims and want more, click on the next video for even more exciting news and updates in the cozy gaming world. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Stay awesome gamers!